it's way easier for things to go wrong than it is for them to go right. And maybe it's even more important that we are careful about how things don't go terribly wrong than we are to be too concerned with making sure that they go right. Because hell is a long ways down and we can only make things so much better. So think it through. Can you think of any ways that might not work out so well? And then how would you mitigate against that? One of the things that wise social scientists know is the probability that your well-meaning intervention will have the positive outcome you intend and no other is zero. In fact, the highest probability is that it will kick back against you and make things worse. So you bloody well better be sure when you implement your well-intentioned intervention that you lay out a measurement strategy to determine what the consequences of that intervention are because they're very unlikely to, to be an improvement. That's especially the case if the system is already working well because if it's already at 85% optimal capacity, moving it up another 5% is really hard, whereas making it work 50% worse, it's like any fool can manage that. So when things are working, be very cautious about what you do radically to fix them because you don't know what the consequence of your intervention is going to be. And so that's another thing that I might suggest, caution. And to the degree that I'm a conservative, I'm a conservative because, because of my apprehension of my own ignorance. It's like, first do no harm. That's also why in my public lectures, I counsel people, let's say, to put their own house in order. It's like, you're not gonna hurt anyone by doing that, right? All it's gonna do is make you a little less chaotic and horrible. And then maybe you'll be of a little more benefit to your family. That might be a nice thing too. And then maybe you could dare to, you know, extend a tentacle out beyond that and tap something in the real world gently. Well, that isn't what we're taught in universities. We're taught that, well, you're 18 and you can see what's wrong and you should think up some ways of radically transforming the economic system. It's like, <laughs> right. People don't like it when you force them to think at high resolution. And it's no wonder, because, look, let's say you're driving your automobile along, and you think, this is my car, and I understand it. And your evidence is that as you move the steering thingy, it stays on the road. <clears throat> That's your understanding of your car. As soon as it breaks down, it's like you realize you don't understand your car at all. <laughs> Not even a bit, right? And so you actually don't even perceive the car until it breaks down. And then you're very unhappy that you have to perceive it because all it is is a whole nest of snakes and you have no idea what to do with any of them. And so people don't like having to think at a high resolution. And so if someone says on a contentious issue, well, you know, it's complicated and we have to differentiate it like this, then you have to go through all the god-awful process of realizing that you don't have the clue what you're talking about in that circumstance, and you have to evaluate all those differentiated issues. It's way easier just to say, well, you're probably a neo-Nazi, and so I don't have to listen to you. Well, and so that's often what people do. That's particularly the case if they have a low-resolution ideology that they're trying to protect, because that gives them every extra reason to do that kind of instantaneous labeling. It's a very bad strategy if you're dealing with an individual one-on-one. -on -one. You know, so if you're in a long-term relationship with someone and they bring up their annoyance with something that you do, a very bad um, response to them is that, well, I don't have to listen to you because you're a terrible person, right? Your relationships are gonna collapse completely if you do that every time. What you wanna do is differentiate the argument to the point where a solution might be generated and have, a, have the argument at that level, but it's very hard for people to do that. So you end up with these radical oversimplifications.